The younger boy screamed, it's my turn, as he tried to yank the TV remote out of the hands of his older sister, who refused to let go. In much of the same way, we adults struggle to hang on, to be in control of our money, our time, and plans. We worry, we work late and get up early to see our plans through, all under the illusion that we can hang on to control. After all, we know what we want and we do have our plans. 2,000 years ago, many people made their plans for Jesus to be their next earthly king. Did you see all those miracles? He healed the sick. He walked on water and fed the crowds. And speaking of crowds, everyone talked about Jesus. With this forecast in mind, the apostles James and John put together their very best plan A and snuck up to Jesus to ask, when you're on your throne, can we be seated on your right and left hand sides? But just a few days later, all the disciples fled when Jesus was arrested. Then, when the Romans put Jesus on his throne, called the cross, they crucified two rebels with Jesus. One was on his right side and one on his left side. So what do we do when life throws us into plan B? Do we lose heart? Do we blame God when we get in trouble, get sick, lose a job, or lose a loved one? Maybe we get scared like the disciples and run away from God. But when these bleak and broken disciples met the risen Jesus, they found new life and new resolve as they remembered that God held the controls. Suddenly, all the plans in the world no longer mattered. Yes, God holds the controls of this world in his mighty hands, and he is a good God. In today's scary, remote-controlled kind of world, it's a message that everyone needs to hear. God holds us in his mighty hands.